Well, hey, birds of a feather will be flocking together for this year's San Diego Bird Festival. So it actually kicked off on Wednesday, but there is still so much fun to be had. You can just ask our not so feathered friends. Uh, see what you did there. Jen, Amanda, and we've got the bird call lady, Nicole Peretta here. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited to have all of you here and the birds, of course. Now, I'm going to start with Jen because I want to talk about the festival itself, which I understand is both virtual and in person. Yes, it's mostly virtual. We have webinars going on and um, we have our special um, Sunday free programs, which um, include our family day program and our bird photography day with Hunt's photo and video. Um, and, and so lots of things going on. We have a few small field trips going on as well, um, giving people the opportunity to get out there into nature. Um, so I know bird watching got really popular during the pandemic. I know I did a story on it. I, oh my goodness, I think about six or seven months ago at the Audubon. Uh, such a fun activity. You know, why do you think it got so popular? Well, it's something that anybody can do. Um, no matter what, you know, your, your socioeconomic status or your, your ability, uh, anybody can see or hear or enjoy the birds in their environment. So it's a great thing that you can do. You don't even need equipment to enjoy birds. Now we've got Amanda from Zuvarga over there. Who you got with you? Hi, this is Albert. And he is a great horned owl. He's one of our ambassadors at Zuvargo. And um, he is an amazing species that folks can see in their own backyard. Now they may want to listen for him yep, or is. his cousins out there in the wild first before trying to spot them because they do have beautiful camouflage that helps them blend in. And they're napping most of the time too. And we also have our kookaburra here. She's on our Zuvargo cam. Her oh, name is Kooky. Yeah. Now, not one you're going to see local here. We do have lots of other kingfisher species throughout the United States, but this bird in particular, Laughing Kookaburra, is actually native to Australia. Oh, can we get her to laugh? I think we can. She has oh. been laughing all morning. But do you have a good joke, Jenny? Uh, oh, my gosh, you're putting me on the spot. Um, That's all right. Knock, knock, maybe. Okay. Knock, well, uh, knock, knock. Yeah. There. Who's there? Kookaburra. <laughs> oh, look, it's already funny. <laughs> it's so funny because Jenny can't tell a joke on the spot. That's all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> you could have come up with a good cat joke, maybe. <laughs> Wait, I, okay. We should probably move on to Nicole, who is dubbed, what, the bird call lady. And you can apparently impersonate this kookaburra. I could, I could, I could do a lot of different bird calls. Um, uh, I'll do a few uh, for you uh, that are actually local birds. Okay. Um, here's one called the common raven, and this is what it sounds like. And that's a bird that actually you can hear in the wild here in San Diego. Uh, another bird is the California quail. Um, and it's actually our state bird, and oh. this is what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have another uh, little bird called the acorn woodpecker, and it sounds like this. <laughs> and, <laughs> it is so freaky anyway, how good you are at some, that. <laughs> I'll be doing some um, performing bird calls on family day. So if you're interested in hearing more, please uh, join me on family day. Um, you, but you can do the kookaburra too. Can you guys have like a conversation? A little or a, like bit, a bird yeah. off? Go. I can try. Yeah, let me try for you. Okay. <laughs> now the real kookaburra, you're up next. <laughs> nah, she's too shy right now. Oh, There you have the kookaburra. <laughs> she doing it? I'm like, it seems like she's making noises. All right, before we wrap up, Jen, can you tell everyone where they can go uh, to find out more about the festival? Yes, the best way to go is to our bird festival page on the San Diego Audubon website. So it's sandiegoaudubon.org. And um, then the family day and our photography day events are underneath the button that says free events. You go there and you can click and um, sign up and then we'll send you the links to the particular programs that are going on. Perfect. Jen, Amanda, Nicole, thank you guys. Thank you. Right, thank, thank you. you. Yeah.